Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be doing another vlog today. Uh, nothing to do with cars, so thought I'd just get that out there. So if any of you are gonna watch some car content, it's not gonna be the one, uh, so tune out. Uh, this is mainly for those of you who watched my last video to do with basically my life currently and what's happened in the last couple of months. Um, the reception on that video was absolutely unreal. I wanna thank all of you for watching, all of you for you know leaving a comment, leaving a like, sharing it. Whatever you did, especially those of you who commented and actually explained your story, it's really opened up my eyes that we need to talk about stuff like this more. Like, it should happen as a natural thought. Uh, we shouldn't leave it bottled up in our heads. Um, I can tell from experience that making that video has actually helped me deal with everything and make me come to terms with it, and it's brought it all to the surface. So, uh, yeah, if, if, if you're in a similar situation, you don't wanna talk about it, make a video out of it, put it on YouTube, talk to your friends, talk to anyone. Anyways, that is not the point of today's video. Today's video is actually a follow-up from the previous one. If you haven't watched it, it's up there on the corner for you. I'm going to be going to my mum's house. Uh, we're gonna be doing a bit of cleaning. Now, I know that sounds really dodgy for a video, but I did promise you guys I'm gonna just make some content and it's, you know, it's not car content and it's not what I used to make, but I'll, one, I wanna switch it up a little bit. I just wanna make videos because I wanna be on camera. It helps me open up about things. Uh, and I just enjoy it, I feel comfortable. On top of that, I think it'll be quite interesting to see the progress from these videos I'm making now in the future uh, when I'm doing whatever I'm doing. I think it'd be good to look back on. So that is the reason why I'm making this video. On top of all of that as well, it's for my mental health. So it's for you know bringing all of these things to the surface. You'll see what I mean when I get to my mum's um, and I'll, I'll bring it all to light when I actually get there. But yeah, that's the reason I'm making this video. So it's essentially a domestic cleaning video with a really deep meaning behind it. Um, so if you don't wanna watch that, that's fine. Tune out right now, I apologize. Uh, if you do wanna carry on watching, massive thank you. Leave a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Let's go to the house and I will explain what we're doing from there. Okay, so we're here. This is my mum's house. This has been my household since, I don't even know, like 2002? Um, this is where, obviously, I live. This is where mum lived. This is where uh, her partner lived. So basically, my stepdad that I spoke about in the last video, this is this is the house. This is the, this is the spot. Uh, and now it's, well, it feels pretty hollow. It's pretty empty on the inside, because uh, it's just me um, and Lil, obviously. Now, the reason I'm making this video mainly is because I just want to show you guys my situation uh, I don't want to keep anything a secret anymore because I just ended up I end up bottling it up and trying to watch what I say uh, you know I don't want to let people on to too much and things like that and I just you know what fuck it fuck it I'm gonna let you know my whole situation uh, I'm gonna be completely honest because that way I'm gonna deal with it better in my head uh, and it's just gonna come across easier so that is why I'm making this video so so yeah basically this is the house oh let's go straight over to that actually that is me if you haven't realized. That was back when I had a mullet and I looked like Justin Bieber. Uh, it was a pretty good day, not gonna lie. I think that was in year one. I looked fucking suave, bro. Look at the shoes, mate. But yeah, anyways, this is the house. This is the front room. Uh, it's a bit of a tip at the moment. Uh, well, a bit of a tip's an understatement. Um, I've managed to clean this bit all up. So this is, this is what I've been doing the last couple of days. I've just been working away, uh, cleaning the house up, basically. That's all done. Uh, this bit is all done what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to show you guys a picture of what this all used to look like i'm getting the same frame this is what it used to look like prior to me working on it so i'm putting a picture right now then if we go over to this this is what this area used to look like as well prior to me working on it and yeah so essentially i've done up to the archway right here i need to do all this stuff uh, there is so much shit. It's actually unbelievable. Also, shout out to Fire Worldwide. You know how it is. There is actually a drop that went live, depending on when this video goes live. Basically, just go check the link out down below in the description. There will be a link for the website. There's new stuff on there. Go check it out. Do everything for yourself. Do that shit. So I suppose I better turn all the lights on first because it's a bit dark in here. It looks a bit... That light just turned itself on. Okay, now we're possessed. But yeah, let's just turn all this shit on. Turn that on. This is the kitchen. Dishes are done, place is a fucking mess. But yeah, so as you guys can tell, what I've done so far is the front room, essentially. Um, I still need to rip down all this wallpaper, so that is why I have brought these tools. If you saw those, I'll move out of the way, it's got my address on it, no way. Um, but yeah, that's why I brought these stripping tools. Uh, that's a, just a water sprayer to loosen up the wallpaper, but 
this stuff needs to go. This is from like, f like, I mean, it's been there since we moved in, it needs to go. So I'm gonna try and rip some of that down, see how easy it is. Um, that's another challenge for today. These are all the cleaning products I've been using to make this place not look like an absolute fucking den. I'm gonna use this tool real quick to pick a bit off the wall and see how deep this, this wallpaper goes because this all needs to come off and this is all over the house. I'll show you in a minute. It is fucking every, besides that wall for the chimney, uh, it is literally everywhere in the house and it all needs to come down because it's disgusting. No one uses wallpaper anymore. It's just, it needs to go. Uh, so yeah, this needs to come out. So I'm gonna just quickly, let's see what's behind that. Okay, so it's just normal and that's not actually that thick at all. I think I could probably take that off my finger. Yeah, I can, okay. Lovely, good stuff. That's a good start. That means I can actually get this done. So I suppose what I should do prior to ripping the whole fucking place down, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the household. Um, it's, you know, you could call it an MTV Cribs, I suppose. <sighs> just without, you know, the M, the T, the V, um, just everything, it's a shithole. I'm gonna give you a quick little look around anyway. So as you guys can see, living room, this is the living room. That's a big mirror, so I can just see my ugly mug. This is, well, it's still the living room. Um, that's that's where my mum's computer is still for some reason. I don't know why that's there. Um, this is a cabinet which has loads of antiques in it, I suppose you could say. Out there leads into the garden, which is a fucking forest. We have the kitchen, which is a very thin kitchen, leads into the toilet. Then going upstairs. Now this is the bit that you guys may recognise if you watched my old videos, because this is my room. So in here, it's pretty stripped and I'm currently in the process of ripping everything apart, as you guys can see. But yeah, that is still one of my favorite pictures to date. It is the Clio, absolutely love it. Got a picture of Fallout, obviously. Got two posters, and then there is another one down there, but it fell off the wall for some reason. Uh, these are all clothes that I'm throwing in the bin. This is all stuff that I'm kind of keeping a hold of. And yeah, there used to be a wardrobe there. Threw that away because I don't need it anymore. And then right here used to sit my monitors where I would make my videos. Uh, you guys might be able to see roughly what that used to look like if you watched my old videos, that kind of background there. Um, my computer used to sit here. Back room is full of absolute shit as a tip. I'm not even gonna go in there. But yeah, that is pretty much the house door. It's nothing very interesting, I do apologize. Anyways, what I'm gonna do now is I am going to just quickly see if I can rip a little bit of this wallpaper off. If I can, then great, I'll film it. If not, then you won't see the next bit. Now, I don't know about you, but I would say that that's fairly easy to take off. I didn't even need to use the water spray. Like, that thing's obsolete now. Like, I fully just ripped the whole thing down in one single pull. I also wanted to see what the condition of the wall is behind. That is definitely going to need some new paint, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I'm, I'm, not a, uh, I'm not a builder or anything of the sort. If you are a builder, and you know, you can assess this wall for me. Uh, it doesn't look wrong whatsoever, it just looks a bit dirty. Uh, nothing a fresh coat of paint can't fix though, but I'm glad that that come off as easy as it did. That means that this should be, hopefully, fairly easy. Now while this is great and all me being productive and taking wallpaper off and stuff, uh, I also don't wanna fuck around with household electricity because it can kill you. And that's connected to a wire and a plug somewhere. And I feel like if I try and rip this out, it might rip that out. And then it might, you know, I might just fucking blow up. So I'm going to cut around it and leave it and just try and get this off instead and, and just leave that as it is. Don't want to touch that. Don't want to mess around with the electricity and stuff. Okay, so I've managed to just cut around the wallpaper until I figure out what to do with that whole situation. Don't want to kill myself. Um, I've cut down to another line there, uh, but I will need to move the couch out of the way to get it all the way down to the bottom. Uh, so I need to do this bit on the side. There's bits up here that used to be a smoke alarm you know it does not exist anymore we have another one over there though so it's fine um but yeah that's about all i'm going to do for today guys because i do have to go and pick up lil from work uh, i just thought i'd just give you an insight into what i'm doing in my daily life <clears throat> just trying to fix up the house trying to make it look a little bit better uh mum never really cleaned it uh you know and every time i tried to clean it she had her own reasonings why i wasn't allowed to clean it um and it really annoyed me because i'm just I have like OCD and stuff and it needs to be clean everything needs to be perfect that's why this the only bit that I've done is like literally perfect there's not fucking spot anywhere that is perfectly in the middle in the middle of the window as you can see that's the kind of stuff I need to happen in the whole house so yeah guys I will see you on day two which is tomorrow
day two. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of the uh, domestic cleaning show with Sean Barrett. Uh, today, we're going to be doing a little bit over here. So, as you guys can see, there's just a bunch of shit here. Um, what I'm going to do is essentially clear it all up and throw it all away. So, I'm going to do this in one click because I know you just probably don't want to watch me sit here cleaning for the next 45 minutes. So, instead, I'm just going to click it. So, this is what it looks like, how it was left, and there we go so there is all of that cleaned up so that was not too hard i just had to clean all the shit off the table i had to clean the table i had to clean the radiator i had to clean the keyboard i had to clean the mouse i had to clean the computer i had to clean the computer screen i had to clean the i had to clean the printer i had to take all the shit off the chairs uh, but overall not a bad improvement from what it looked like about half an hour ago i do apologize it's really dark that light does absolutely fuck all but yeah mum didn't really uh she wasn't too keen on cleaning things uh, so everything got really really dirty as you can probably see around here this is just kind of what i've lived with and got used to the floor is fucking filthy uh, there's no point in doing it at the moment because it just needs that much work that i'm not even going to attempt it myself but in terms of getting this shit all done that's a good job so i've done a couple more bits got rid of all the shit that was on the top of this and like on the floor and just everything um there's a lot more stuff to do as you can see there is a hole side of this room that i haven't even started because i don't know where to put any of this um but i guess i'll have to figure it out uh, now i'm going to pretty much leave it there i have no idea how long this video is at this point um but i just want to crack on and actually you know start doing some work instead of worrying about filming and stuff because that's, that's the whole reason i'm here um now this may not seem very difficult to you guys uh but it's very very difficult to me because like i've lived here for my whole life and now i have to clean it out and get rid of all of mum's stuff, get rid of all of uh, her partner's stuff and basically just tear the place down even though this has been my home. Um, well, it still is my home, but you know, it's it's difficult. It is really, really difficult. Like, don't get me wrong, it's half therapeutic doing it because I've seen it like this for so long and you know, I've been wanting to clean it, I've been wanting to do this for such a long time, but mum just never really um, just let me you know she kind of had her own method her own ways of doing things she didn't want me to intervene she didn't want me to worry about it um so on that side of things it is a good thing that i'm doing this but on the other side the flip side it's very very difficult because it's kind of whatever this is what i have left of my mum and it's all going now so yeah it's hard it's very hard but anyways i hope you did enjoy the video um i know it's nothing interesting whatsoever i'm basically i became consuela for a day um but if you did stay to the end of this video thank you very much it really does mean a lot make sure to leave a like on the video if you did enjoy it uh leave a comment down below show us some support uh, and i will continue trying to upload next time the next upload so next week hopefully should be something to do with cars i will see what i can get cooked up if not i'll just vlog whatever i'm doing on that day whether it be interesting or not i don't really care i just want to get back to some sort of consistency here on youtube so Thank you very much for watching guys and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.